Welcome, everybody. So this is our Thieves DIY class. And um, we are so um, happy to have you. So tonight, we're just going to be sharing. Um, just hold on one sicky. I'm just going to mute everyone else. Um, tonight, we're going to be sharing some of our DIY recipes that we use our thieves cleaners for. So I'm going to kick off um, and I'm just going to hand it over to Laura Clarson. She's going to be doing um, a stain remover and a furniture polish. Laura? Um, let me just, do you want to unmute you? You unmute yourself. Okay. Hi ladies, I'm going to show you how to make a furniture polish. Um, I use uh, coconut oil and I've already started. I put it in the microwave so it's a little bit melted. Here it, um, you can put it so hot that you can just leave it outside. It will melt by itself. Okay, all I add to this is um, four drops of seeds and eight drops of lemon. Mine is a little bit stronger. I like the smell of the lemon and the seeds. And that's it. And you, all you do is you put it in the fridge and then you use it. As easy as that. Okay, that's my furniture polish. Okay, stain remover. I use a 500 glass bottle to see seeds, hydrogen peroxide, and dish soap. Okay. Let me start with this one. Quarter cup, quarter cup. Okay, quarter cup of that one. Um, I make mine, you can make it less. I make mine strong. He goes to school and he's got white school shirts and they're pretty dirty when he comes home. So, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the top off, otherwise it takes too long to come out. And that's it. Um, and you just add water and shake it, and there you've got your stain remover. What you can also do is take a little roller bottle and fill it with um, your thieves household, clean it about three quarters full or half full, and fill it up with water. And then you can keep it in your car or in your handbag or somewhere if you've got a stain that you want to remove quickly. So this is very handy to keep you know, near you. If you're going somewhere and you mess something, especially with children, yeah, it's wonderful. And that's it. That's awesome. Wow. Um, I never even right. thought of the stain remover. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Unmute yourself, sorry. In my stain remover, I also add 20 drops of lemon. So you can make it less or you can make it more. Um, it's up to you. I'll put the recipes on the group and then, okay. And that's it for me. <laughs> Wonderful. That's such a great idea to have a stain remover um, in a little roller bottle in your handbag. That's really awesome. Okay, so I'm up next. I'm going to be making a jewelry cleaner and I'm going to be showing you how to dilute the dishwash. 
And then I'm also going to show you how to dilute the laundry. So starting off, um, where's my, so sorry, my thieves cleaner disappeared. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to use the thieves household cleaner. One teaspoon of thieves household cleaner. So when we finish with a call, I'll show you what the, the jewelry looks like. And one teaspoon of bicarb, just roughly. Five drops of lemon, so it's nice and strong. I also, like Laura, like to you make my solutions a little bit stronger. And then all you do is you add warm water. So I've boiled this water a little bit before and I'm just gonna stir it up. So bicarb is gonna like make like a little bit of a fizz and then it will be diluted after that. So as soon as the solution goes clear, then the bicarb is diluted. Okay, it's one teaspoon is obviously a lot for this. But I don't know if you can see in here, it makes like little foam on top. So I'm just gonna vigorously stir it until the foam goes away. It's not completely gone, but it's better. So I've got this. These charms are quite dirty. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to put it in here. And then at the end of the call, I'll just show you what it looks like again after that. So we'll just leave it there. What you can also do is, where's the cap for that now? Yeah. You can put the cap on and then shake it. And then just leave it to it's um, yeah. So I'm quite I've never been a DIY person, and um, I've become a DIY person. So what I've done here is I've pre-mixed the quarter cup of bicarb in some hot water, in my jug. So I'm gonna do the laundry. So what I do is I just keep my old laundry container and I just put a sticker on there called mixed. And I know this is the mixed one. This is my concentrate. I'm just gonna take one cup of laundry detergents. As you can see, it's very thick. And then use one of these goodies. Just put it in here. So we've cut a normal stay soft and washing powder out. We don't use that at all anymore. And this works like a charm. very thick. I'm just going to squeeze some water through there to dilute and just get the rest out there. Okay. So that's the concentrate. So then I'm going to put in my thieves. So once again, I'm going to put in three caps to make it nice and strong. So the caps, that's the size of a cap. So very concentrated. And then I'm going to add my bicarb water. So this is always where I mess a bit. Let's try not to mess tonight. And when you are using water, Always remember to use filter water and not just normal tap water. 
So that's about halfway. And 10 drops of lemon and 10 drops of lavender. Okay. We have one or two drops extra, doesn't matter. Great. And you can put any, I like the lemon for the stain removal and um, lavender for the fragrance. And then you just top it up with normal, normal water. So just filter water. Okay. So I'm just, I'll just let that, normally I'll just let that settle because it's going to be foamy. And you shake it up. And then once, once it's settled down, I'll fill it up with water again. So that's your dishwash. So next, uh, I mean, the other laundry. So the next is a dishwash. So this is how the dishwash comes. Also in a concentrate. So if you're making a 500 ml bottle, then you would use um, a third of it. I use these squeezy bottles and also I keep my old bottles. So I only, I'm only gonna use a, a quarter. So I've already taken the inside thingy off. So I've made that mistake in the past as well. Just clean that. I'm just gonna squeeze out. So I just, Measure it by eye. I'm just going to squeeze until there's a, a quarter of it out. So if you look at it like that, you'll see that's about a quarter. Okay. And then I've also pre-mixed my bicarb for, for this. I'm just going to throw it in here. So as you can see, we're always going to use glass. And um, the Young Living plastics are special, specially formulated. But I think Elmarie is going to tell you a little bit more about why we use glass and special plastics. So then I'm going to add my bicarb, the bicarb water. Let me just see how far I am. And this is also going to have, so the bicarb helps it to make nice suds because you know we all are used to suds and unfortunately the suds that we are normally used to in our normal cleaning products is all um, SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate which I think Chrissy is going to tell you about and then I'm going to add lemon and grapefruit both of my citrus oils I'm just going to do three drops of each And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you just shake it up. And that's your dishwash. Okay, so I am handing over to Danica. You can just unmute yourself, Danica. Hello guys, good evening. I hope everyone is well and had a lucky festive season. We, me and Leandre, yeah. we're going to make dishwashing, dishwashing tabs. I just want to show you if you can see. Hi. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to use is baking soda, sea salt, and citric acid. So I'm going to use a cup of baking soda. Yeah, I'll see. Hmm. Okay. 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 Okay.
baking soda. Okay. One cup of baking soda. One cup of baking soda. A quarter cup of citric acid. Citric acid. And a half a cup of salt. salt. Fine sea salt. Fine sea salt. And then we're going to add two of caps. Okay, you must form, it must form like a two. No, you must add, we'll take out all the clumps here. And yeah. The others, yeah. So all the clumps must be out and, then, and must be fine. Yeah. They must be all okay. not thick. They. How can we buy the back here on the key? I got it. Okay, then I'm going to take two caps of my Thieves household cleaner. And then... I'm going to add a few drops of lemongrass. And now you have to mix it. It must feel like wet sand. And you must make sure everything is mixed properly. Yeah. Okay. So it's a very messy store, a messy story when you mix this all together. So it will be better when you do it on a on something that you, it's really messy. That's how it looks. You can see it. Now we're going to take our silicone ice trays. And we're going to just press it nicely, firmly into the ice tray sockets. I'm not sick and I'm not And then you must press it with the back of a teaspoon to make it nice and firm cubes. And then you leave it for 24 hours overnight in your tank and, and voila, you got your dishwashing cubes. And, and it works excellent. The water, there's no streaks on the glasses. It really, it works like a bomb. Try it. Thank you. That's all from me.
Yeah. That was so amazing. That is definitely going to be the next recipe that I am going to try out. I already bought my silicone molds and uh, I'm definitely going to give that a try. Okay, so next up we have Elmery. Elmery, you want to unmute yourself? Hello. <laughs> I'm going to make the glass and mirror cleaner and also the floor cleaner tonight. Laura mentioned about the bottle because the thieves household cleaner have thieves and lemon oil in, you, you can only use, you can reuse your old bottle or preferably a dark brown bot glass bottle. And the reason for that is essential oils are incredibly potent, which means that many of the oils, especially the citrus ones, um, will dissolve the plastic and draw out all the toxins. So it, it's safe to either use or reuse your old bottle or the glass bottle. Okay, so I'm going to reuse my thieves bottle to make my glass and mirror cleaner in. So first, two caps of your household cleaner. And then I'm going to use a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar. And then five drops of my lemon essential oil. Yeah, let me do this. And then the rest I fill with pure water. And then I use my spray and voila, shake it. And then I have a very dirty, full of dust glass bowl. I don't think you can see it, but it's shiny. Okay, then the next one, I'm going to make the floor cleaner in my glass bottle. Again, two cups of your household cleaner. Half a cup of white vinegar. Then I'm gonna use three drops lemon. And three drops grapefruit essential oil. Oops, okay, four. Mix in some water. And there you go. Yeah. Now I can clean my floors. That's all for me. Thanks so very much, Almarie. So next up we have Chrissy. Um, Chrissy um, had a little bit of an issue with her internet. Chrissy, are we? Are you ready? I am ready. Awesome. Hello, everyone. I am grateful to be able to talk to you guys with low cheating and all. Um, I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to make it. Um, I loved all the DIYs and there's quite a few that I'm going to try myself, especially those dishwashing cubes. That was pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, so just very quickly, I'm going to show you how to make an all-purpose household cleaner. Um, so like Almarie said, you're going to need a glass container because we do add citrus oils and citrus oils breaks down plastic or petrochemicals and you, we're trying to get, a, get away from toxins. We don't want to add them to ourselves. So we use glass products. All right. 
So I've already added my, my water just to speed up the process a tad bit. Now all I'm going to do is add two cups of this amazing Thieves Household Cleaner. This is so natural that you can clean your fruits and your vegetables with it as well. Um, it is safe to consume. And now, after I've added my two cups of these household cleaner, I'm just going to add one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. I hope this one is open. Let me just check. Oh, no, it's a new one still. <laughs> I haven't used this one yet. Just open it up quickly. There we go. Oh, this smells amazing. Let me just add one tablespoon. There you go. And now all you still need is your favorite essential oils. So I chose purification tonight because I just absolutely love the smell of it. It is exactly what it says. It purifies, it purifies the air, it purifies surfaces. It um, is one of my absolute go-tos, especially now with COVID. I just want to get all the germies out of my home. There we go. I just added six drops. And that is as easy as it gets. You can, if you want to add half a cup of um, vinegar. I did not tonight. I do not like the, 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 the scent of vinegar, um, but it does do magic to cleaning surfaces. And that's it. You can give this to your children as well. I've got two <laughs> and I know that it's safe for them to use. So they've got no excuses why they can't clean a bathroom themselves. <laughs> okay. And then I'm actually going to take you guys with me to the bathroom. How exciting is that? I um, I'm going to, let me just see if I can get this one working. There we go. Get my light going. All set. So I'm going to take you with me to the bathroom and we are going to make some bubbles. Many of us have children and I don't know if your kids are anything like mine, but they love bubbles. Um, there we go. And I am literally just going to pour a little bit of this. These dishwashing cleaner dishwashing soap into the bathtub and look at that we've got <laughs> my son loves it <laughs> okay so um I'm just going to step out of the bathroom for a second. I think I'll just go back to the, the kitchen quickly. The question on everyone's minds right now is um, probably why go through all the effort and go through all the trouble um, Sorry, to make your own your, products. Your phone is, your, we can't see you. Sorry. Oh gosh. All righty. Um, give me a second then. I'll make this work. Can you see me now? Okay, perfect. All right. Um, I'm just going to have to move rooms around because I didn't have internet. Um, I had to make plans on where to, where to and how to talk to you guys so I'm actually on my phone currently um, and that's always a hard one okay so excuse me if I don't look at you all the time but this is something that's really near and dear to my heart so I really want to um, 
share, well, you know, share my heart with you tonight. Um, so you guys might think like, why, why are we doing all the trouble to show you how to DIY? And why would we not just buy something off of the shelf and, and use it? It's, it's easier. Well, obviously it's easier, but there's one big word and it's called toxins. And um, toxins has such a huge effect on our health um, as it is known to be endocrine disruptors. And um, endocrine disruptors just causes a, a such a huge um, bunch of health issues like fatigue, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, um, unexplained pain, skin issues, especially adult acne, hot flushes, stress, anxiety, autoimmune diseases, um, and then the most feared of all, cancer. Many of these toxins are directly linked to issues like reproductive health, um, developmental problems, thyroid impairments, certain reproductive cancers, and neurodevelopment mental problems. Um, and I'm telling you this because I was so shocked to learn that we are exposed to all of these harmful chemicals on a daily basis due to the product that we are using. The EWG, which stands for the Environmental Working Group, who is an organization which um, investigates ingredients, foods, and toxins in our environment, did some research that showed that people apply an average of nine um, personal care products and 126 unique ingredients on their skins daily, from shampoos to sunscreens to makeups, many of which contain toxic ingredients that come in contact with our skin, with our mouth, and with our hair, um, all before breakfast, that is mind blowing. So these toxins are literally hidden in our soaps, our shampoos, our makeup, and even our toothpaste. In fact, the worst kind of toxins are found in toothpaste, air fresheners, fragrance, candles, laundry detergents, and cleaning products. Now, um, how does this um, all apply to you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> now do you see how this all applies to you? Um, and you see in South Africa, we don't have any regulations um, when it comes to the products that we buy. When we think that there would be a governing body that will be testing our products and that would make sure that the products we use are safe, but there isn't, there just isn't. In fact, out of the 3 million different types of products that there are for us to use, only 1% of it has been tested. Out of that 1% um, that has been tested, they found that 888 are toxic, 146 cause tumors, 280 cause um, reproductive complications, 788 causes acute toxicity, 314 causes biological mutations, and 376 causes skin irritations. Um, I also learned, now this is a very interesting fact, that stay at home or work from home moms and dads, which is almost all of us currently due to the COVID situation, has a 54% higher chance of dying from cancer because of the constant um, use or um, um, availability of these products. And if that doesn't scare you, listen to this. Did you know that the EWG has found that a huge amount of baby products contains toxic chemicals? In fact, of these products, 97% of um, baby bubble baths, 95% of baby wet wipes, 91% of baby lotions, and 92% of baby shampoos contains these harmful chemicals. And that is why I wanted to show you that you can even make bubble baths from Young Living's products. I would like to point out three harmful chemicals that really stood out for me. And the one is fragrance or perfume. Um, it can really be translated to hidden chemicals. When you read this on a product, run away. This word contains up to 300 different toxic chemicals and it will only be labeled as fragrance. The EWG found that 75% of products that list fragrance contains the hormone disrupting chemical called, called phthalates. 
highlights. Um, and this is commonly used as a, a, in fragrances as a solvent, which means a liquid that dissolves other substances, or as a fixate to help the fragrance last longer on the skin. Phthalates can pass through your skin into your blood and are linked to many health issues such as lowered sperm count, liver and breast tissue damage, diabetes, and reproductive issues. Guys, this is scary stuff. Then we've got triclosan. Triclosan is an antibacterial agent known for its germ-killing abilities, found in toothpaste, laundry detergents, shaving creams, and guess what? Our hand sanitizers. So this is something that we apply to ourselves on a daily basis. Basis, sometimes multiple times in a day and um, it doesn't what it doesn't only kill the, the the bad bacteria but it also kills all the good and healthy bacteria that you gut so so desperately need um, and then the last one is SLS which is um, stands for sodium laurel sulfate which Laura mentioned it is found in your toothpaste again your mascaras your shampoos acne treatments bubble baths um, and detergents. So SLS is the foaming agent, which we all think we need, but we actually don't. Um, and it um, behaves very similarly to soap. According to the EWG, it's been marked as a medium hazard and is linked to cancer, neurotoxicity, um, organ toxicity, skin irritations, and endocrine disruption. But please, guys, don't take my word on it. Go do your own research. Go on to ewg.org. All the information is there. They launched a program called Skin Deep in 2004 and to inform people exactly what goes into those products. They've got a database of over 70,000 products and almost 11,500 different ingredients. Um, South Africa also has an app called Think Dirty where you can literally scan your products in the store and see how toxic those products are. All right. Read your labels and become aware of what you're actually using. So I know talking about chemicals can be super depressing, but that is the reason why you saw all these girls showing you all this DIY and incredible recipes because there is a better way. Um, Young Living's products are 100% plant-based. Plant it's safe to use on yourself and on those, those you love. Um, so please reach out to the person that referred you to this call. Get a membership with Young Living ASAP. Ditch those harmful chemicals and start living above the wellness line. Thank you, guys. That's all from me. Thanks so much, Chrissy. That was so very informative. And yes, it's, it is a mouthful, but it, those are words that everyone needs to hear. So once again, I just want to recap. So all the, pro, um, all the recipes, except for the dishwashing tabs, you basically only need the, the Thieves Household Cleaner, dishwashing soap, vinegar, water, bicarb, and your essential oils. Those are basically what you need. And then I just want to show you, um, I know this is not the DIY, I just wanted to show you, this is Young Living's hand sanitizer and the hand wash. And this is the little spray that I carry with me everywhere. So I don't, like Chrissy said, you don't want to kill the bad and the good bacteria off your skin. If you kill off your good bacteria, it's going to affect your gut health. And that's just not good for anybody. And that affects your whole body. So yeah, I just want to get back to the jewelry cleaner while Chrissy was is talking. Um, I cleaned off my charms. And I don't know if you can actually see how nice and clean they are. Maybe I must turn the light this way. They are sparkly. So yeah, definitely you can clean anything and everything in your house with Thieves Household Cleaner. When I, I got shocked into reality uh, the first time I saw a toxic a, a, a Zoom call about toxins. And um, I realized I was putting toxins on my body before I even got dressed in the morning. I was putting more toxins on my body throughout the course of the day. 
and walking barefoot under your feet, you have the biggest uh, pores of your body and it absorbs everything. So anything you clean your floor with, anything your kids crawl around on the floor, your pets walk around on the floor, all those chemicals are going into our precious loved ones' bodies. So yes, on that note, we're going to end this call. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, there is a thieves cleaning kit that you can sign up with. If you're not interested in the essential oils to start off with, you can sign up with a thieves cleaning kit and it has all of these goodies and some more uh, deliciousness in it. And um, yeah, keep your family safe. And yeah, thank you very much to all, all the lady that, ladies that were presenting. I really learned a lot and I'm definitely going to try those dishwashing tabs. Bye.